Hello everyone and welcome to this automotive technology video. My name is Nick Dimitrakopoulos and I am manager of automotive ethernet and infotainment here at Rundgren Schwarz and today we are going to talk about the Open Alliance TC9 test specification. For this reason I have invited my colleague Jorn Pfeiffer. Jorn, thank you for joining me. Hello Nick. So would you like to explain to us uh, what kind of setup we have here today? So today we are measuring an unshielded twisted pair cable and we have a vector network analyzer here to do this. Okay, and uh, what kind of uh, specification is the TC9? What does it say? So the TC9 has specifications for cable, for connector and for the whole communication channel and today we want to have a look at an example for the cable testing. Okay, and what kind of options and instrument do we need to do these certain measurements? So we need a four port vector network analyzer because we want to do uh, measurements on a balanced DOT and we don't want to do only reflection measurements but as well transmission measurements. Um, we have an 8.5 GHz vector network analyzer, the ZNB8 here, but as well the ZNB4 with up to uh, 4.5 GHz would do as well. Uh, also we need the time domain software option K2 to do the impedance measurement. Thank you for that. So let's have a look quickly on the uh, TC9 test setup specifications. I guess the first thing we have to do is to calibrate the instrument. Yes, at first we start with the calibration and we use the settings from the, from the spec for this and we can use uh, either a manual calibration kit or we can use an automatic calibration unit. Okay, if we use the automatic calibration unit, we press uh, Cal and then start calibration. We have to choose the TC9 UTP characterization from the characterization menu. Press next. Start and start the calibration. What the automatic calibration unit is doing is that it is switching automatically through all the calibration standards, through open, short and match and as well through the through connections between the ports. Okay, Jorn, so now that the calibration is done, what is next? So at first we need to check if the calibration fulfills the VNA calibration accuracy requirements from the specification. And to do this, we need to connect two through adapters to our cables. And to do all the measurements, I have prepared a setup. So what we see here is the check for the return loss and the check for the mode conversion in the lower two windows. And uh, the red lines we see are the limits specified on the TC9. Yes. This is very important. We have to make sure that the mode conversion of our setup is very low in order to get very accurate measurements on the mode conversion of our DUT. Yes, that's true. The mode conversion tells us how much power is converted from the differential mode into the common mode and vice versa. That's right. So what's the next step then? Now we do the actual measurement of the DOT and therefore I have connected the cables to the DOT here. And I see this is a 1000 base T1 communication link running over an unsealed twisted pair cable. Yes, that's true. So for the uh, several measurements we need to do, I prepared another setup. And as you can see, we are measuring insertion loss, return loss, and again the mode conversion here. So thank you for this example, Jörn. And I know that the TC9 specification also mentions the impedance measurements. Do we need a different setting for that? Yes, we need different settings for this. Let's have a look at it. And to use these different settings in the same screen, we can use a different channel. As you can see, we use channel 1 here and channel 2 in the other windows and uh, therefore we can use a different frequency range, for example, and as well use a different calibration. Well, Jörn, that was really useful. Thank you very much for your time today to show us the TC9 specification of the Open Alliance for the 1000 base T1. So make sure that you go to our Automotive Ethernet Solutions website. We will see you next time on behalf of myself and Jörn Pfeiffer. Goodbye. Goodbye.